Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Um, if you didn't check out the last series, where's the car gone? Here it is. So if you didn't check out the last series, we actually uh, rebuilt this, which is the Mazda MX-3. So I've done three episodes on this, so if you guys want to check them out, then go ahead and check them out. Uh, but right now, we have a Mazda RX-7. This car is in, how do I say it, very bad shape. Um, but what we're going to do, is we're going to repair it. So it's twin turbo, is that twin turbo? Uh, my game keeps freezing. Um, it just says rotary engine one. I would presume that's twin turbo. What are these? Ah, that's part of the turbo. Um, what does the interior look like? The interior is actually in top condition. Surprisingly. Uh, what wheels are these? RX-7Bs. With sports tyres. Now what I'm planning on doing for this. Is actually kitting this out with. Uh, super powerful versions of all of these. So what we're going to do, we're going to move this to the lifter. And then we're going to take everything off. Right. Right, headlight, front bumper. Is it not middle tail light? Okay. Right, so that's the whole of the body workout. Now if we disassemble the interior. There we go, that's that done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rip the whole of the engine out. Right, drive shaft has to come out. Then the gearbox. Actually, no, the start needs to come out first. And then the gearbox. Right, and then we have to drain the engine. Uh, use that. Oh, there's no oil in it anyways. No surprise. Alright, let's grab the engine crane. And pull out the engine. There we go, engine is gone. Oh my god, why does this air filter have clips on it? Just use screws. Clips are annoying. Uh, battery. And there's all the radiators. Right. Shouldn't take too long to remove all the parts anyways. Um, 
Everything is in such bad condition. Oh no. What's still attached? Ah, sway bar. And then lower suspension arm needs to come out. We should be able to take the front steering knuckle out. Just like that. go right let's take the sports tire off I actually want to see if I can get some fat tires on this time Steering rack is out. Low suspension arm, and then we should be able to take the cross member. Right, sports tyres, let's take these out. Look at that knuckle housing for the rear. Rubber bushings come out next. And then that rear suspension arm can come out. There we go. Fuel pump out, fuel tank out as well. V8 rear muffler as well. Right, sport size come out. Rear drive axle, brake calipers. Brake disc. Uh, what's on the inside of here is wheel hub bearings. Nice. Hopefully, what they're going to do is they're going to release like the Pagani DLC and all that in future updates. Because I really want to see the rest of the DLC in this game.
rubber bushings. I don't know what rubber bushings are actually for. I think they'd stop vibrations, but don't hold a knife to my throat on that one. Uh, rear suspension. Hang on, is that everything? Oh, cool. Right, we literally just have a shell now. Right, so if we go here. And we spam the A button. I think something got destroyed. Right. Um So what we're going to do, we're probably going to create a new engine. Uh, rotary one, I think it is. Yes. Okay, so I think based on how we built the other engine, uh, what I want to do is I want to type in ROT and anything to do with the rotary. No free space in inventory. You are crazy. Ah, uh, right. No, how do I sell? There we go. We should have plenty of space now. And uh, exhaust pipe catalytic converter. We also need middle muffler and rear muffler V8. Coolio. Um, now, if I take a look here. Uh, R O T I don't know which one I'm trying to build now. Ah, uh, front side housing. Did we get any of them? I've probably got way too many parts, but who cares? Uh, part mountain. Right, so we need crankshaft. Then we need rotor housing.
There we go. Timing cover. Right, so we need alternator. Now, we needed a power steering pump, but it was like... V6B or I6B, it was one of them. There we go, more powerful uh, spark plugs anyways. I still didn't get the crankshaft pulley. That's what I was looking for. Uh, engine, crankshaft pulley, V8. Here we go. Uh, let's mount that on there. V6B. Uh, so we need like three or four idle rollers. I'm going to get a load of each idle roller. There we go, intake manifold as well. Oh, I'm trying to get that, there we go. And we got ourselves a roller on there. Right now what we need to do is fit ourselves a nice new turbo. Throttles. At least we got better ignition coils now. Uh, spark plugs. Fit the more powerful spark plugs in. And then some nice and powerful things. Um, I think I got the oil filter. Yeah. And now all we got to do is take a look at some performance parts for gearbox, flywheel. And then also we need a fuel filter. Clutch plate, nice red one. Performance pressure plate, of course. And, oh yeah, clutch release bearing is on the other one, isn't it? And 
and then just a release baron. There we go. Right, that is the engine done. I wonder how much power that has. Because it's not got that many extra parts on it, to be honest. But, who knows? I mean, this is just an empty shell. But we should be able to finish it off in the next two episodes. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And I shall see you next time. Goodbye.